Hey, what's going on, Ed? Hey, what's up, Nick? We Nothing. Are... That was stupid. <laughs> hey! Cat to the rescue! <laughs> What's going on everybody? It is Nick here from Team Aquascapes and as you can tell, we are not in Chicago today. No, we are in beautiful sunny Florida. Fort Myers to be exact, which is just a stone's throw away from where we are starting our next project this week, which is in Punta Gorda, Florida. Now, if you're wondering why we're in Punta Gorda, we have a very special man that we're gonna go meet and hang out with for this week. His name is Ty and Ty is the creator of Iguana Land. Here we are guys, we made it. Beautiful weather out today. We're actually probably gonna get some work done. The owner of this property, Ty, has had a lifelong affinity for reptiles and it's always been one of his lifelong dreams to kind of have his own zoo. And so that's where we're at today. We're at Ty's property. This place is absolutely amazing. This place is under rapid construction because he's trying to get this open by April. And so it's all hands on deck here. You can see all the construction behind me for animal enclosures, different types of uh, turtle habitat and all that good stuff. So in just a little bit, we'll catch up with Ty and he can kind of go over his grand vision for this place. And it's super inspiring to hear him talk about this. But right now we're gonna go catch up with Ed the Pond Professor and his son Austin. And we're gonna get an overview of our certified aquascape contractor event in February where we're gonna have contractors from all over the country come down and help us finish this build. So I'm gonna head this way and check out the site for where our pond and waterfall is gonna end up. So here at Iguana Land, we actually have two main water features that we're gonna be working on. This is gonna be the main entrance for Iguana Land. We have this perfect little space, as you can see behind me, for a poundless waterfall. The first thing we wanna start is get these blocks in place to get them marked out. That way we can start digging the basin, which is gonna house all the water for this poundless waterfall. Hey, what's going on, Ed? <laughs> hey, what's up, Nick? Uh, we are getting ready to start our excavation over here. And what we're doing is we're creating the Palmas Waterfall. And Palmas Waterfall is basically a subterranean reservoir. It's gonna have a series of aqua blocks, which create a structural void space under the ground. And we're gonna have a pumping system inside of that. All the water from this reservoir, which will be 500 gallons, is gonna be recirculated up to the top of a berm area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig out all the soil, pile that soil up. That's gonna give us the necessary height. We're gonna come in with some beautiful native stone to create a really dramatic waterfall. It's gonna be visible from the main road. All right guys, so we have the hole for the basin dug. Obviously the next step is to position our pump vault and get that in place and excavated. And then we actually already ran into an issue. And let me turn this camera around real quick and show you what we have going on. Within minutes of actually excavating this hole, we had groundwater just start pouring in. So what Ed came up with is we're gonna put a drain system in. And instead of just going fabric line or fabric right away, we're actually gonna bring a layer of fabric in and then we're gonna bring a drain tile in this trench here so that pressure in the future that might pop this basin out of the ground will actually be alleviated. Water takes the path of least resistance. So that water will actually just follow that drain tile out. We'll alleviate any pressure from underneath the basin and we should be good to go. We are gonna take a quick break from excavation and construction because I wanna introduce you guys to someone very special. This is Ty Park, who is the not only creative mind behind Iguana Land, but the owner and the curator of all these gorgeous, gorgeous animals and reptiles. So Ty, if you would not mind just take a quick second and kind of tell us uh -huh, what Iguana uh -huh, Land uh -huh, is and uh -huh. kind of how you came up with the idea. Well, actually I've always wanted to uh, be a zoo director when I was growing up and I studied zoology at university, but it, I kind of veered off and got into different businesses. And I was lucky enough to retire pretty early and follow my passion. Uh, I had this farm, reptile farm, for about 21, 13 years now. And uh, last year, I really decided that I wanted to do more than that. And so I decided to open this place to public. So this is gonna be actually Iguana Land Reptile Zoo 
Conservation Educational Center. That's absolutely unbelievable. And I can't wait. Ty's gonna kind of show us around this place. We've got a sneak peek already, but you guys are about to have your minds blown because this is absolutely unbelievable. So hey guys, this is Iguana Land, obviously, and we're gonna show you a couple of iguanas that we have. Very rare species, actually. This is Grand Cayman Island Blue Iguana. And this is Jessica. He's my lead keeper here. Basically, our mission here is, is to uh, breed these rare animals and they're never gonna go back to the wild. So what we do is we sell the babies and take some of the profit and help conservation in the wild. So we basically breed them as a pet and take some of the money and give it to the conservation work. All right guys, so we just got done running around Iguana Land with Tiffany and Jessica, and they are absolutely amazing. You can just tell the love and care that they have for each and every one of these animals here. And what a great opportunity that we've had to come out here and be able to, to really help out with this dream for you, and thanks for the opportunity. And with that, let's go check out the progress we made on the pond. You bet. Uh-oh, Rock is here. Uh -oh. That was the first load of rock. That was the easy load of rock. The second one is not gonna be so easy. Now that that's over with, back to work. All right guys, so as you can see behind me, Ed's down there, he's installing the pump vault, and then we're gonna have the aqua box that go on right around that, and then we can start backfilling and get this basin all locked up. We do have to fill it up with water as soon as we get it in because that water pressure from underneath might heave that basin up if we don't get everything buttoned up super, super quickly. So it's gonna be all hands on deck. We're gonna hit it all at once, not stop until it's done. As you can see on this backside, we had to bring in soil because uh, it was super low. There was a natural swale that kind of went right through this area. So this corner elevation wise was way too low to hold water where we wanted it. We brought in soil over here. Ed and Austin are putting in these flow cells or drainage panels. So what these are gonna do, it's gonna increase the load bearing capacity on top of the aqua box. So we have holes on the top and then we have this internal plate, but it's also hollow in the middle. So what happens is it allows for more even water distribution. The other thing it does is because it has a very consistent hole size going through it versus the aqua blocks are more triangular shape. This allows different size gravel to be used on top. So we can get away with like a one inch gravel without causing any uh, clogging issues. The nice thing about these, if you need to completely clean this, you could pull the gravel off, you can pull these drainage cells off, power wash them every few years, put it all back together, and then the system is brand new and clean. So it helps to eliminate uh, a lot of the long-term maintenance. It's genius! All right guys, so it's only day two. We really didn't even get a full day of work in yesterday and we are about to strap the first rock and sling this thing in. One of the most important things when designing waterfall is you have to consider the size of your pump and the amount of water flow you're gonna have. Reason for that is if you're underpowered basically uh, with the size of your pump, really not gonna give you that white water effect that you're looking for when you wanna uh, make a waterfall look super natural or have a high impact. Otherwise it turns out, kind of looks like wet rocks. We're running at 12 p.m. We have the capability with that kind of a pump to actually push a lot of water through this waterfall. So we can make our waterfalls pretty large if we need to, or we can scale them back and really push some water through them. So 
So yesterday we made quite a bit of progress on that front pond list. We're actually gonna leave it just how it sits though right now because in February we want our certified aquascape contractors to come back and they're actually gonna finish that waterfall and knock that all out. Now we're gonna head back, meet up with Ed and check out where that pond's gonna go and we're gonna get that all marked out and get digging today. And this is the area right next to the Chelonian Center. So this is the area where he has his large turtle collection. So this is gonna be turtles from around the world. It's gonna be an incredible, incredible experience. So what we wanna to try to do is we wanna highlight some of the unique things that Ty is gonna have at this facility. People are gonna come on in. We have the big snake enclosures that are being built right now. And then this turtle area in between this and the original section, he wants to have kind of a garden space, kind of like a little bit of a park-like atmosphere. So along this section is gonna be a series of seating areas, gazebos where guests can kind of just kick back, they could relax, maybe have something to eat. Kids can kind of run around and have a little bit of fun. This is the area that we want to focus on. We're going to have a large ecosystem style pond built right through this one section. Now the key to all of this is we're trying to recreate the unique attributes here of South Florida. What I mean by that is the Everglades are the dominant feature here in, in Central and South Florida. So this is a large massive marshy river system that starts in Central Florida, works its way towards the Gulf of Mexico. It's just a big, slow-moving ecosystem. It's loaded with all types of unique vegetation and animals. We're trying to recreate that on a miniature scale. Now I'm excited. So we got to get the machine over here and we're going to start digging this thing out today. So it is the end of day three out here at Iguana Land, and we hit it hard today. We made a lot of progress, and I wanna show you guys what we got done today. The entire pond is roughed in. We have our drainage in already, and we kicked butt today. See right here, this will be the intake bay for the, all the pumps. Two pump vaults will go there. We're gonna be drawing about 20,000 gallons per hour through this intake bay, so that's nice and wide. Our aqua box will go in here. That'll all get backfilled like we did over on the pond list. This whole pond now is roughed out. It looks awesome absolutely in love with this shape here super natural one of Ed's specialties looks great so we have our drainage right here just like we had in that front pond list again you can see these natural nice curves Ed did a great job designing this pond we'll have two shelves both about 12 to 14 inches deep this top shelf and then this bottom shelf kind of work our way over here we dug out this trench for there'll be a nice deck kind of right in this area here that'll overhang the pond so that'll be our footing for our posts when that deck comes in later nice shallow area right here kind of narrows up it'll be really Really awesome to push water through here and then the outer edge of our pond right here we'll have our wetland somewhere up there right where the machine's sitting always feels good to end on a day like the today when you know that you got a lot done so we'll catch up with you guys in the morning and we'll get some more done tomorrow Forty-five mil EPDM weighs a third of a pound a square foot. That was a hundred foot by thirty foot roll. We cut twenty feet off, so it's a twenty or a thirty by eighty. Twenty-four hundred square feet. It's about eight hundred pounds or so. is in. We had to pull everybody off of this job site to help us get that in. This rock is called Florida Cap Rock. Florida Cap Rock tends to be naturally sharp and has a lot of seashells and weird stuff in it that could cut the liner pretty easily. To alleviate that or mitigate that, what well, we just went ahead and laid the fabric over. Cheap insurance. Now we can get our pump intake bay in. Once that's in, we'll backfill that. And we're gonna start slinging some rock. Blocks are in, we're back filling right now. Final step in this process, we're gonna fill this thing up with water. So when we're gone for the next two weeks, we don't have any upheaval of this basin. And then we're slinging rock. Right, guys so it's the end of the day we just 
knocked this stuff out of the park. We set 35 feet of rock in only about an hour and we were cruising through it. So this was all done in about an hour. Ed was just a madman slinging rocks in here left and right. Everything looked perfect, beautiful gaps. This rock is awesome to work with. As you can see here, we poured concrete earlier this morning and that's gonna be for our two posts that are gonna come up. We we'll have a nice cantilever deck right here and that thing's gonna hang over the water so you'll be able to look straight down. We have our basin filling up here, our intake bay filling up with water. This will all get rocked in uh, when all our contractors are here. But yeah, we absolutely killed it today. So that is gonna be it for us here at Iguana Land, at least for this week. We'll be back in just a few weeks to finish all this up with all of our certified Aquascape contractors. These guys are gonna come down here. Very talented group of guys, and we're just gonna knock this out of the park. So really looking forward to that. I hope you guys stick around to see this thing done because it's not gonna be long and it is gonna look killer. So if you like what you see, as always, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.